Hey guys, I'm CoolFighter63 here. Um, the first thing you might have noticed is my desktop. It's very beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, um, why I am recording with my iPhone is because my bandy cam is lagging my computer bad. So I'm just going to use my iPhone for the moment. Um, but uh, this is going to be about joy to key. That is what that little icon is. And, um, here's the little program. So far I have it disabled, but what Joy to Key is, is a program that will have your Xbox 360 controls mapped out onto, like, keyboard presses. So, like, if I press this to the left, there, it will act, it will show that I'm pressing it, since I have a wired one and it's plugged in. Um, it's showing that I'm pressing it, and then if you set up the key to be like left arrow and you're in a game, it'll move you to the left. Now, um, one of the really cool things about this is um, I play Unturned, and Unturned so far does not have Xbox 360 controller support. So I set up a list of things for, uh, uh, uh of... <clears throat> the maps, the mappings, you know, and, um, so for computer, I just press that, and if I move the thing around, not that stick, sorry, the other one, if I move that around, it'll just move my mouse, and if I press this trigger, it will click, and if I, like, click and hold it, it'll, like, start doing that thing on the screen, which is select, and then the other uh, trigger is right click as you can tell and um then for minecraft i have it so it's set up kind of like the minecraft um the minecraft setup and then let me click just to make sure okay and then unturned um same thing uh, i'm going to make a custom one right now so then you can see it or test so we open the test and um, uh, they map out with button 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, blah, blah, blah. It, all, it goes all the way down to 32, but you only need to worry about the uh, up to button 10. So if you want to use the triggers, you're going to have to go into options. And this says stick slash point of view or whatever that stands for. POV. <laughs> you just press that little down arrow and press show all access. Axes. Or whatever. And then you just go back to joystick one and it should be added. You don't have to worry about axis six, slider one, both. Okay, you don't need to worry about both of axis six, both of slider one, both of slider two, and uh, all four of POV2 and the rest of these buds. So, uh, stick one is on the top. If I move it around, it will show that I'm pressing those. And we can set it up so if I want to move left in a game, which is WASD controls, then I'll double click that. And since we can just move that out of the way real quick, if that's going left, Press A, is an A for the game. Yeah, I might turn down the screen. Oh, that's better. Okay. And then, the same here. Right, D, okay. Up, W. And then down is S. Now, the tricky part is, if you want stick 2, which is this one, to be mouse movements, you have to double click it, if I can find my mouse, there it is, okay, <laughs> double click it, then you go into mouse, and um, here are the cursor movements, and here's the wheel rotation, so let's say if it's Minecraft, and you wanted to set it so each button you press, it would go to the next slot, I believe uh, the mouse rotation would go up or down 40. 
or 50, I, I can't remember, but um, let's just worry about the movement. So if that's going to go left, then we're putting the cursor movement left, and then put it to the sensitivity you want, and you can scroll with your little mouse thing, the mouse wheel, to set it, and um, you can press OK, and that means if stick 2 is moved left, as you can see my mouse, it'll move it left at that speed. And that's pretty fast. <laughs> Whoosh. And then um, I'm not going to do the rest of those, but I'm going to show you what the axis is. Okay. Axis 5 is the one you're going to have to worry about. Both axis 5 from the top and the bottom. The right trigger is axis 5, top one. And then left trigger is axis 5 on the bottom. So, the first axis 5 that shows up, if you want it to be a left click, go to mouse. You can also do it from here, but I like to go for mouse and then you can see all the options, and left click. So that means if I leave my mouse here, then I can move my stick to the left until it gets to Internet Explorer, and then the trigger, it will click on it, and as you see, it got darker. And, um, I'll click off of it, there you go, move it over, press, there, just gets a little bit darker, and, um, if you don't have controller support on a game, this works perfectly, um, you just set it up and stuff, so far, if you turn your computer off perfectly, like, you go into the start menu, and you press shut down and stuff, then it will save all of these, options, but if you press the power button, it won't save the options, and, um, that's a big problem. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just put a disabled one, so you can see, so then everything is disabled, so no matter how much I move the controller or whatever, it won't work. Then I just click off, and I close it down. It doesn't make your games run slower or anything, it just, it's just, it just runs in the background, so yeah, <sighs> that's, that's joy to key, um, it is amazing, you can use PS3 controllers, Xbox 360, um, PS4, I don't know, I haven't checked, but I will, uh, I will give you a download link in the description, and, um, I will be releasing another video about something, too. Uh, so, yeah, see you guys later, and... Thwag!